What is up, Kristen? Appreciate hey. you jumping in here. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I am good. Just wanted to jump in here. We talk about all the time, right? Our mission at Duckett Lad, strive every day to make the lives of our team members and clients better. And what we don't do often enough, that's my opinion, is actually step back and be like, man, you know that client we were working with? Like, we really made them better, right? And almost pat ourselves on the back. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. It's hard to do that. Yeah. It's hard to give yourself praise. So let's let's do this. Let's take time. Let's pat ourselves on the back a little bit. But what I want to do is just talk about, first off, you're a controller here at the firm, right? Yeah. Talk about how you help dental practices on a monthly basis get better. So kind of what we do is um, do their bookkeeping, um, look over and review all of their financials, and then we take that information and put it together in a nice, neat report with KPIs and um, a lot of other information that's happening in their practice and put it in front of their face every month and go through it and look at all the numbers and what it means and just just break it all down. Yeah. So get down to the nitty gritty. Two things there you said real fast. I want you to unpack. First one, KPIs, because it sounds like you're talking about financial statements and everything. What in the heck is a KPI and what does that mean? Yeah. So <clears throat> KPIs are key performance indicators and lots of times they're things that we um, talk through with the client and we set goals and talk about, you know, what, what are goals for their practice? What are production goals? What are hygiene production goals? What are new patient number goals? And those are the key indicator numbers that we use and we track every month and we report back to them. So, you know, you had five new patients Last month, this month you have 20, you know, so you're getting better with your new patients, things like that. So KPI is more of a deeper dive into not exactly the financial statements, which you do that as well, but also the maybe leading indicators of stuff that their practice management system should be telling them on a monthly basis. Yeah, they all go hand in hand. Whatever is happening with your production directly affects your financials. So we have to look at them as a big picture. Yeah. Second thing you said, put it in their face, mm -hmm. right? You're putting what in their face on a monthly basis, and how is that How is that adding value to them? Yeah, whenever you put those numbers and those financials right. and the KPIs in people's face, they're forced to look at them. They're forced to see, what did I do really bad at? What did I do really good at? And the question I always ask is, what, what happened that went right, and how do we repeat it? Just like you would ask yourself, you know, what went wrong, and how do I not do that again? You can ask yourself the same thing for the positive. What can we keep doing on repeat to make this better? Mm, that's good. So let's do this. Let's pat ourselves on the back a little bit. Let's talk through a specific client. Maybe you can just think one up here, one that you work with on a monthly basis, and let's just walk through a couple things. Number one, what they look like at the beginning, and – We'll figure out how long ago that was. And then now, like how they've gotten better. So pick out a client, right? What did they look like? Um, let's get a little tactical to the beginning here too. What type of practice were they? How big a practice? How many doctors, collections, rough numbers? And I mean, I'd be specific. Okay. So maybe a practice, um, one one doctor um, did, you know, close to $2 million a year in collections. Good size practice. Yeah. Um, just general dentistry, a little bit of Invisalign. Kind of everybody does just a little bit of everything right. now. Um, so just a basic general dentist practice. Um, kind of one of the big issues that they had was they really – had a great office manager and they just kind of let her run the show and they really weren't paying a lot of attention as owners of the business to the financials. And so I think things got a little out of hand and maybe they weren't noticing that maybe their production wasn't as high as it as they thought it was. And they had an operating system that maybe wasn't reporting the production like they thought it was mm. and the production and the um, collections weren't really matching up. And so they had a lot of things kind of going on that they weren't seeing on a monthly basis. So when you say they let the office manager run the show, they basically have delegated the operations of the whole firm kind of to them? Yeah, yeah. Like they really were not looking at any financials. And the office manager was, but she didn't really know why they weren't making sense mm. and like what to drill down on to try to figure out how to fix it. Mm. So they, they had data. So they're getting data on a monthly basis. They just didn't know what to do with it. And, and maybe the owners weren't looking at it as well, right? Yeah, yeah, that was totally the case. So I think that they made a lot of really good changes. Um, 
just by having that information in front of their face by saying, you know, look at this production number that it says you have and it does not match your collections at all. Either this money is out there somewhere and you're not collecting it or this production number is inflated or wrong. And so, you know, they've gotten a new operating system. They have numbers that they can rely on now and just being able to trace those practice numbers back to the financials makes a huge difference. Mm. Why do you think it was that they weren't looking at the, I'll say they, the owners maybe weren't looking at that stuff on a monthly basis? It just gets easy not to. They're there to do the dentistry and that's what they know. They're doing that because that's what they love. They don't necessarily love or know how to read the financials, you know, and we can come in and help them figure out what it means, you know, what does it mean if my production and collections are not matching up, you mm. know? So go back, go back to the mission, right? Make the lives of our team members and clients better. Now, how, how long ago today, maybe you said this already, how long ago was that that they came on Ford? Uh, about a year and a half ago. About a year and a half. So 18 months today, all right, how, how are they better? You just kind of painted the picture of what they look like at the beginning. You know, they, they had data, they weren't looking at it, the officers, office manager was, but she didn't understand it. What's that look like today? Yeah, I think that they have a way better idea of what their production is, um, what their hygiene production is, where they're making money, where, you know, they're missing some AR or some collections that they could be getting, and what their overhead expenses are, you know, how much they're spending on marketing in relation to their collections, and just what is really driving their practice, and Um, that they actually have cash flow now, you know, and they can see it and they know, they know what's happening. It's not a big question. Did they have cash flow issues at the beginning? Yeah, I think they were really starting to, and they didn't understand it because it said they were still producing so much. They just weren't collecting and there was a big discrepancy between those. And so they started having some cash flow problems. Well, that's a whole nother video, isn't it? The difference between (laughs) production, gross net and actually what you collect. Yeah. Totally different things across the board, right? Yeah, it is. That's good. What speak on the owner side, owners sitting in those monthly meetings with you, holding them accountable, putting stuff in their face. Yeah. And I think that they're really enjoying it. I think they're learning a lot about their practice. I think they're learning, you know, about which knobs they can turn to make the big numbers Mm -hmm. mean something or be a lot greater anyways. What gets measured gets managed, right? Yep. I mean, so would that's you... That's what ag- a controller does. I was getting ready to say that's... Would you agree that's what that controller is? Yeah. For any firm, any any practice, any business, a controller's job is to measure, monitor, and control um, financials. And so that's what we do. We, we measure them by doing the bookkeeping every month. We put them in a nice format and present it to you. And then we look at it, we're monitoring it. And then together we can give you ideas and options on how to control those things. We can't make it happen, but we can give you ideas on how to make it happen. Yeah. That's the key point you said at the end. We can't make it happen. All we can do is sit down on a monthly basis, measure, monitor, control, tell you where things are off, maybe what to do, and they go do them. Yes. But if you're not measuring that stuff, you can't manage anything in practice. That's Uh, right. That's dynamite. Yeah, I I just love, I think we need to do this more often. How we see clients getting better, that fires me up. I know that fires you up, right? As you you get on the client, now that client's happy. They're they're asking those questions like, oh, man, the cash flow was great this month, where 18 months before cash flow was kind of like, what does that mean? Yeah. You know, so that's great. Um. Kristen, I appreciate it. You're a rock star as the controller, um, making clients better every day. Um, Appreciate you coming on here and showing how we can benefit uh, dentists get better. So appreciate it. Thanks, Kristen.